Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have my non-spoiler thoughts on Thor, Love and Thunder. This film was really good. Granted, not my favourite of the Thor films, that's still very much held by Ragnarok. But this film was really good, especially considering this is the first time we've seen Thor in three years. Yep, we have not seen the God of Thunder since Avengers Endgame. Doesn't feel like that long, does it? But it's been three years. Wow. The film was absolutely incredible. It was visually stunning in so many ways. Like, it's one of the best looking Marvel films I've ever seen. Um, the story was a very interesting one. They, they very much picked a very popular comic story. And I'm very happy to see that they translated it as well as they did into the film. Sacrificing... Not much, really, for the sake of the film. Like, most of the original story was kept to its basic fundamentals. Like, most of the fundamental beats of the story were in the film. Um, Christian Bale as Gore, the God Killer. He was good. I... He was okay. Like, he wasn't, again, not my favourite Marvel villain. He, he was very scary in part, I will be honest. He was quite... You could tell he was um, Patrick Bates in um, American Psycho, but honestly, not the best Marvel villain, but not the worst by far. Of course, Thor was an absolute genius. He, Thor was just brilliant. Glad to see that Korg and Meek returned, um, as well as King Valkyrie, obviously. And I love to see that New Asgard's kind of getting a bit better than it was back in Endgame, but honestly, in terms of the story of the film, very good. Would recommend giving this film a watch because it's the first Thor film we've had for like nearly five years now. And I just love it. I will probably be re-watching it a lot because it was a funny film like Ragnarok was. Of course, it was directed by Taika Waititi, such as was Thor Ragnarok. And the music choices in this film were also impeccable. Like... He utilised one specific, ba specific band very well and a lot. So I'm very happy to see that included that specific band. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything too much because I want you guys to be able to go and see this film for yourself and have a lot of surprises in there because even the little things I have told you isn't even close to spoilers, really. And I think there's only one Marvel film left to come out this year, and I'm pretty sure it's Black Panther 2. Yeah, that's the last Marvel film we're getting this year, I think. If not, this is the last one. And if that is the case, whoa, that's weird. But, okay, sure. But hopefully it isn't the last one, because I need more Marvel. Like, Mar Marvel Face All hasn't quite found its feet yet, and I'm hoping that it will start to do that soon, because if it doesn't do that soon, then I'm going to get a bit worried. But, as of right now, nothing to worry about. Probably. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this very short, non-spoilery thoughts for Thor, Love and Thunder. That is a mouthful to say. So, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my Rock Sands and Frost's YouTube channels. The links are in the, in the description. My button is down there. Yeah, that big red one, unless you've already subbed. Then it's grey. Thank you for that, by the way. And once you've done that, please don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because... Why not? And let me know what you thought of Thor, Love and Thunder, if you've seen it already. Or if you haven't, have I convinced you to go watch it? Hopefully. Once you've done that too, please don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be in the link tree in the description. Please check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram as well while you're down there. And lastly, please don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following and sharing and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.